Hello, my name is Jason Tiedek, and I've got something amazing to share with you. Our Instructional Design Mastery Course. I'm about to give you the keys to the kingdom, a step-by-step -step plan for turning curriculum into engagement, learning, and retention. If you're looking to raise your ROI or engage and nurture both employees and trainers, then you've come to the right place. So what exactly will you be learning in this Instructional Design Specialist Certification course? Well, for starters, you'll learn the curriculum life cycle and how to create stellar content for all three stages of instructional design. You'll also be learning how to master the nine critical teaching strategies and 13 essential complementary teaching tools of a successful lesson. Look, I can go on and on about the pain points we'll be solving in this mastery course. Or you could do yourself a big favor and check out our course page today and see how we'll get you to the point where you can motivate any trainees while simultaneously increasing engagement and retention in less time. It's your call. Let this opportunity pass you by or answer the door when opportunity comes knocking. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. The why they want it is going to allow you to create the mysteries of how you're going to give it to them. And remember what we talked about, which are the three most important for an adult? The why, the how, or the what? The why. So everything we created and did in lessons one through six is now going to feed us to be able to do lessons seven through 12. By the way, a lot of trainers, when they look at this go, my class shouldn't have to do this. My class shouldn't have to make you feel or give you happiness, success, or freedom. It's just, you're just learning stuff. It's not my job to help you be more happy or successful or free in your life. Well, then good luck you when people want to come to your class or not. And good luck you when you get your evaluations and they didn't really think it was that great. But if you do these things, they will think that you're meeting their needs. Because who's your class really about, you or them? Yeah, and this is what they want. So if you look here, if you can highlight why they want this material, and you're able to provide that before, during, and after class, you have an audience who wants to be there. You're going to learn in this chapter, you can write this with me, how to create lesson hooks, how to create class hooks, and how to create the agenda and takeaways for your class. You're going to get real things in this chapter that you can actually use in every single lesson you teach. Let's hear another one. That's awesome. Kara? I'm going to show you how to give better care to your patients by placing your orders right the first time. I'm going to show you how to give better care to your patients by placing your orders right the first time. Can I ask you something? When physicians hear this, people who are watching this video, when anybody hears this of your audience, might they say, really? <laughs> no, no, wait, wait a second. Really? Prove it. Might they say this? And that's exactly where I want them. So what, what my goal is, is that you can't tell what my learning style is by my curriculum or the way I teach. That's my goal. I don't want anyone to tell. If, I can, if it's just obvious what your learning style is and you're teaching, that's not good. They ha you hired these people. They have amazing stuff in here. They do. You must get it from them to find out what makes them tick so that you can tie that to what you must teach them. This right, just right now, for some of you, you just had your, your first, maybe third, maybe fifth, but a big paradigm shift, didn't you? If you can't, if you can't use the circle of knowledge for your class, you either gotta throw the class out, you gotta rewrite the class, or you gotta come up with a new title and circle of knowledge question. And in this case, we did number three. That's huge. If you don't have a circle of knowledge question, I don't want to attend your class. This is my favorite. Put a smiley face next to it because it's Jason's favorite and it's going to be your favorite too. It is an amazingly powerful thing. When trainees aren't hearing anything that seems useful, they become bored, they stop paying attention, and they think, why bother? 
Underline this, people will stay attentive if they are getting something valuable from the training. One of the most powerful ways to keep your class listening is to ask questions that help them see, this is huge, highlight it, what you're telling them is immediately relevant to their lives. And there are one, two, three ways to do this and they're at the bottom of 191. Here they are, instructional designers. How would this work for you? How would this apply to your situation? How can you adapt this for your needs? And then you can insert your functionality into there. For example, how would this, how would chart review work for your department? Watch me do one with you. How could you use relevance and recall questions for your instructional design? Oh, this is powerful. This assesses whether they remember. This assesses whether they can understand. And what's the one in the middle assess? Whether they can apply or perform. See the difference? Powerful difference. Apply, remember, understand. So I say to them, hey, let's see if you understand. If, by the way, if I was doing an oral review, what might I say for step one? Let's see if you remember. A what now example is a real world example of the exact teaching objectives that you want them to do right now which means, oh, guess what? I can't write one of these stories unless I have my what figured out, my objectives figured out. That's where your story comes from. Your teacher, if you want to know how to sign and hold orders and what's the difference between penned and signed and held and signed, you're gonna need a story about that, aren't you? So you can tee up the examples that you can then hit out of the park later. On a scale of zero to six, six being you absolutely have to attend this course, Scribe is a six. It will change the entire way you think about writing curriculum. It builds it from the ground up and every single thing you do is intentional. It's on purpose, it has a point, and the point is to better train the trainee. Has nothing to do with us, has nothing to do with the facilitator, but has everything to do with the person coming to your class. Jason has a great energy. He is obviously very passionate about all of the tools that he's providing to us and he is truly excited to see it come alive in class. And I think it's worthwhile to spend your time with Jason in this way because it'll also then translate onto you and how you feel about your own curriculum. I would highly recommend taking any class from Jason, specifically this scribe class. This training is going to change my life because um, I have real tangible tools I can take back and implement right away. And there's a lot of things that I've been noticing in our trainings as we go along that I say, hmm, can we do this better? Can we do this better? But I didn't really have a roadmap to figure out how to do it better. And now I have those tools to be able to make it better. And so this is definitely going to change the way I do my job. And it's going to give me a better life because I'm going to be happier and my trainees are going to be happier. I'm a training instructor that has been training curriculum for a number of years and for the most part I have inherited other people's curriculum. Now after taking this class I have realized that this curriculum that I've inherited needs a lot of work. Now by taking Jason's class I have the tools, the know-how, and what I really need is structure because I'm a creative learner and I'm kind of all over the place. So this class has been super beneficial for me and I would highly recommend it. It is a good use of your time and it will change your world. When I first read through the list of topics, I thought it was going to be a lot of intangible fluff that I wouldn't really have a chance to do anything with. But the way that Jason presents the material and the activities that he has you do gives you a chance to apply it in real time so it doesn't just go over my head as an idea. It's actually a practical, practical thing that I can do when I get back to the office. This training was three days and it took about 24 hours of class time and that does seem like a lot. But think about how much time you can save in the long run and that's really what I'm focusing on as I move in back into my job is that this was a really small investment of time in the long run. And it's a really energetic class. We were able to interact with each other a lot. And I think even watching the video, you'll be allowed, if, especially if you're working with a group of people, to stop at certain points, to discuss curriculum that's relevant to you, and to come up with some tangible tools right on the spot. And Jason will be able to facilitate that. So I just grabbed my list because I want to share this with you. This is stuff that's going to change my life. And I 
if you follow along and take this training, it could change your life too. So what I came up with after this class, or during the class actually, was um, I want to go back and take a look at our objectives because I feel like they're really tasks. They're not objectives at all. So we need to reword and refocus those. I want to make sure that we include hooks. We have no hooks. If without a hook, why do they even want to take our courses? Um, I wanted to also then incorporate the circle of knowledge into all of our classes, tap into those resources and make them buy into what we're doing. I want to use the buddy system. I want to feel, I want my trainees to feel like they have a lifeline, whether that's the person sitting next to them or the trainer. First of all, I have a lot more preparation to do, but in the long term, that preparation is going to save me rewrite after rewrite after rewrite and hopefully for the trainer who replaces me will save them rewrite after rewrite after rewrite. It's also forcing me to really think beyond how I learn and how I train and it's going to get my activities, my strategies, my tools to reach everybody who might attend my class. I would recommend this class for anyone who struggles to write curriculum and using the tools and or maybe someone who's never had that education to actually do the type of writing that we so need in our classes. I would also recommend this class for anyone who thinks they are advanced in writing curriculum. We all have something new to learn. Jason has given us hundreds of tools to make our courses better. I've been a trader for 13 years and when I first heard about spending three days in a in a curriculum writing class, I wasn't sure that I was interested in it. But when I saw the list of topics, I couldn't help but think, I need help with all of these things.